several trips and had meetings with Dr. Bonnie and Dr. Han and other working at the Philly Asylum. On one of our later trips to Mission San Luis, this is right after they got the uh, visitor center built, you know, just way down the road, years and years that don't pass. Uh, on one of our later trips to Mission San Luis in Tallahassee, some of our tribal members and council members attended a meeting and was approached by the Secretary of State with a proposal to the Appalachian for moving back to Florida. The gang gaming in the Panhandle. For that was our homeland. Gilmer, Chief Gilmer, and the council rejected the proposal. This event is what started problems within the tribe regarding gaming. This offer would have involved this offer would have involved us being absorbed into another better recognized tribe, and we would have lost our identity. Elders rejected the deal they didn't want. After refusal of this offer, the state of Florida sent a leading expert of the United States of the United States. To examine our petition for federal recognition, it was determined by this person that we could be recognized, but we were not because of political reasons. The Florida Secretary of State contacted a local Catholic church to see if our church records could be reviewed for even further investigation into our history and our records, right? Unfortunately, our records have been sealed by the Vatican because one of our ancestors that but Cat and I become a saint. We were featured on a show called They Might Be Saints of the Catholic Church. Councilman Gilbert Benning was interviewed in St. Augustine by Michael O'Neill, the Miracle Hunter, while participating in the state of Florida out of the 210 bodies that they dug up, right? Kept 37 of them, 27. 35 of the bodies and put them on the shelf. They're sitting on the shelf right now. They tell the hats parts of the problem I don't know I guess. Anyway, they took parts of the body, teeth, pieces of skin, or whatever was all that on bones and everything else, and sent them to Copenhagen, Denmark, for DNA comparison. Come to our tribe and they all just fit in little bottles so they could send over and compare it, okay? Well, after, um, I don't know, seven or eight years, I got to wonder, what about those results? So I could duck through our files, and I found out what they said, and I, and I contacted them, and um, they said, well, we had a big flood. A storm came in, flooded the whole lab, destroyed it. We had no results left, but we do got some of the remains. They said, well, we don't know where to send them. He said, I'm going to try to contact So they tried to contact oh, the person that put them in there, but they weren't, they didn't work in the lab anymore. So he said, would you like them? They're yours. They're your people. So we said, yeah, we would like them. We'd like to put them right where they belong. So they sent them to us. And um, we got them back, and then we uh, contacted State for them told them what we had, and that we wanted to uh, work a deal out with them about putting our body back in the ground, where they gone, where they belong, you know. And um, people threatened to put me in jail, all kind of stuff, because I had human remains and everything else in the world. I mean, there was a chatter going on the internet, you would believe. People threatened me, everything else. I kept them, worked out a deal with the um, state of Florida, Bishop and um, worked with Dr. Mary over in uh, St. Augustine. We got it all worked out in the name of to uh, where we could get these bodies put back in the ground to rock away with the ceremonies, right? COVID. Hit. So that's been put on skids, and now we're going to get working back on that again, try to get, just get these people back where they belong. You know, since COVID's pretty much gone now. Um, but that's one issue that we had here lately. Um, problems. I don't even know where to start with it. There's a new group. The first called themselves Appalachian Indian Nation of Mission St. Louis, Louisiana. They later, they later reorganized and submitted their tribal role to the state of Louisiana as Appalachian Indians of Lost Tribe. In 2019, using our exact name in history, they submitted a bill to the state of Louisiana. They got another bill in there right now they just put up this week. 
that we got to deal with when we get back. Okay? This bill was blocked by the executive director of Indian Affairs. That was the first one. All right? January 2020, the Secretary of State, our trend name is Trademark. He totally disregarded trademark law, right? And uh, said that, uh, that this guy applied to have the name Appalachian and Top of the Band. I named Top of the Band Appalachian. He said they had a discussion about it, thought that it wouldn't cause no problem if they reversed our name. So they gave him a, a, a 501c3 over, right? Okay? And it said, if we don't like it, sue them. So I guess now we're going to sue the state of the land. Okay? Since this time, the newly formed group has filed another state bill. This is their second state bill, recognition, using our trademark name. But we were able to pursue legislative not to put the bill through. The legislature referred the bill to the committee for review. And that's where it stayed. The governor of Louisiana formed a group called the Native American Commission. This commission is supported, is supposed to represent Native Americans in the state of Louisiana. But the federally recognized tribes are not actively participating with this commission. The Native American Commission is harming us by supporting this newly formed group that got their name or our name reversed in 2020 uh, using our trademark name. Willingly and knowingly, we told these people they're not supposed to use our name and that they're, they're still in our game and they don't have a right to do that. Right? And they have very permission supporting this new group and put up a bill using our exact tribal name. An exact name. Not reversed. We got some paperwork. Alright? Uh, so we're having to deal with that. That's another deal that we got to deal with. And uh, the conclusion, the Appalachians have been persecuted by almost everyone we have ever encountered. Everybody. All the way down to our lawyers. Right? We have faced discrimination, been forced into slavery, been brutally murdered, forced to move from our land, been stolen from, have been fighting for recognition. Our history shows the battles we have faced and still face today. Our fight has only charged, changed, and that is done politically now, but it's still just as devastating and fierce. We fight daily for our voice to be heard, for us to be acknowledged, and to right all the wrong doings done to our people. We do not want to lose our identity. We want our children and grandchildren to know their Appalachian culture and the stories of our tribal history. We need help from, the, from those in position to do so, so that our culture can be preserved. The government is willing to spend millions of dollars saving an endangered animal species and protecting the animal, endangered animal habitat. Are Appalachian Indians not as important as these animals? The state of Florida owns thousands of acres of land used for growing trees to sell. How many trees can equal the life of an Appalachian? Are we not worth as much of a pine tree? The academic community should understand that there is a death rattle happening right now in the Tallamalli Band. We would like to come home to Florida. We have members of our tribe. We'll have moved to Florida right now to reestablish the Appalachian in our homeland. The state of Louisiana has not been kind to us in any way. We would like to come home. We thank you all.